exciting here in Things studio. are getting serious, oh, yeah. Kylie. Matt Brickman has taken off the jacket, he's rolled, up the, rolled sleeves, up the sleeves, yeah, and he's it's... pulling seeds and guts out. <laughs> you'd think it's severe weather. I mean, that's the meteorologist <laughs> sign when you roll yeah, up the sleeves, This Matt. is every bit as serious and uh, just a little ickier. Just yeah. a little yeah. bit. So you, we don't know what your design is yet. Nope. Big secret. You, you are being. a hint? Uh, you'll like it. Okay. Oh. Not you, a helpful hint. You are being no, trained. It's, it is. It is relevant uh, to okay. your interests. Okay. Mm. Uh, pumpkin this is also nights. Less helpful. You've got the pumpkin nights team over there. That's a new event at the state <sighs> fairground. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we have two <laughs> professional carvers showing Matt. And Matt is the competitive nature has taken charge. Oh yeah. They're very fast. They're very efficient. <laughs> They're I, professional I'm just, carvers. They're I'm professional. all elbows here. No. It's, a thousand, a thousand hours. You know. A thousand, a thousand hours. Hours. Yeah. They have a lot of practice. All right, we will talk with them later. We'll check in with our carvers to see how they are doing. And uh, we're going to get some pumpkin seeds, it looks like. I hope right? so. Yeah, good. That's good. I'm just impressed. Whenever I try and carve a pumpkin, it's like a four hour ordeal. Right. Just trying to yeah. get through everything. So they look great. Oh, 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 you look concerned. I didn't mean the final result of it. It looks oh, fantastic. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Matt has been carving pumpkins. Wow. And we'll check out with check in with the other two professional jack o' lanterns. Oh, the big reveal. And then of course Brickman's. Ooh. Got to buff it up. <laughs> it's kind of spooky. Wow. I'm impressed he got nothing on his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the spooky Ooh. side. We are going to show you Matt Brickman's pumpkin. We've got it all lit up there. That's right. We're doing this in the dark for yep. a good reason. Oh, oh now okay. we're back. All Here right. We go. Can we, Matt Brickman has been working throughout the show all yeah. day. with the team from Pumpkin Nights. And they joined the <laughs> Color Run, or they were part of the Color Run, and mm -hmm. they started this for here in the Twin Cities. So this is a really cool new event that we have coming this year. Well, I want you to meet Chelsea Kaysen, who is the Pumpkin Nights event director and artist, along with fellow artist Emily Hayford. Nice to have you both with us. First of all, how did Matt do? Amazing. That's really? nice. I think he did great. Amazing. There it is, right there. On, it's nice. Hey. Look at that. I like it. It's the big, Channel uh, 4. Yeah, I mean, I can pander oh, well, with the best of them. Ooh. That actually doesn't help him. That's <laughs> 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 right. Chelsea, how did the idea for this Pumpkin Nights get started? Yeah, definitely. So we wanted to bring more of a family tradition uh, to the Twin Cities area. We love the color run, and we wanted to do we wanted to expand our portfolio. Um, so we decided to. We all loved Halloween, so we decided to create 12 magical worlds of Halloween fun down at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds um, and bring it to you guys. You guys are the first year, first, first, uh, first, yeah. First appearance here yeah, in the Yeah, this is great. Right. What are people yeah. going to see when they get out there? What, yeah. I mean, besides 2,000 pumpkins. They'll see funkins. Yeah. Funkins. <laughs> funkins. What's a funkin? So a funkin is a foam pumpkin. We use oh. foam pumpkins so that they last for the entirety of the event. And also the squirrels down at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. <laughs> are pretty vicious. Correct. Pretty vicious. Yes. Uh, That's really cool. Yeah. Emily, you are an artist. How yeah. did you get into pumpkin carving? So I actually... Um, I'm a freelance artist, okay. and that's kind of what I do, but it's Chelsea here that got me on the project, and so we've been trying a bunch of different tools. We use knives like these, um, Dremels, and now I'm a pumpkin pro. You're a professional you pumpkin carver now. Uh, Matt, what kind of tips did they give you? On the, the You seem to have a, a large variety of tools. So they said, yes. they said take it nice and slow, and I did the opposite. <laughs> I, I was worried about time. I started sweating. I took clothes off, and I just worked myself into a panic. Uh, they were good teachers. I just didn't listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> did, I thought that you maybe, did you trace beforehand? That, yeah, they said okay. do that. They said uh, going uh, freehand is a, is a bad idea. And they also said, like, if you ever try to do, like, those little intricate patterns, yes. like, allow yourself way more space than you think you need. Is that one of the things you've learned, uh, Emily, going through this? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. I you tend to caved in faces. Yeah, lots of trial and error, <laughs> trying to do words, and they'd pop out on you, so you just kind of got to learn as you go. How many pumpkins mm. have you gone through? Oh. Over 3,000. Of you? <laughs> Not me personally. With our team oh, of artists okay. and other people. That's a lot of pumpkins. Yeah. I yeah. feel like, is the worst part the kind of Degooping the pumpkin. The best part about funkins is they come hollowed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the gutting process uh, was messier and more time-consuming than I yeah. remember. Yeah. That's my least favorite. Such what you happens have to, to the seeds? It. Oh, right. Right. we're gonna the roast them. Right. We gotta roast them. <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, there will be more than these displays, though, out there, right? Yeah. So there'll be 12. We have 12 lands that we call them, or 12 worlds. Um, all have a different theme, and uh, yeah, the. They're across a half mile path and 
lots of color, lots of pumpkins, lots Family of... Family friendly. Yeah, of course. Anyone at any age will love it. Um, yeah. Is it scary? It's Are not. Are there people... Okay, that's... No, that's no jump scares. I, I love all these. Family doesn't want to be scared. Yeah, I don't like people jumping out at me. No. Here's the deal. Pumpkin Nights Twin City starts tomorrow and goes all the way through Halloween at the state fairgrounds. Kids under three are free. Kids four to twelve and seniors are sixteen bucks. Adults are twenty. You can buy a family pack yeah. for sixty-four. It's a pretty good deal there. You can have two adults, two kids with that. So all the details at wccocom links. Good luck, you guys. First year, I Thank think this you. is going to be a lot Thank of fun. You. I'm going to join guys. you out in the early morning, the dark hours <laughs> next week. So we'll show you even awesome. more about it. Very good.